Jan Sarig, Application Engineer with Atlantium. I am going to briefly demonstrate ultraviolet dechlorination, namely show how UV photons decompose the oxidizing and thus harmful free chloride molecules into harmless chloride ions that are rejected by our own membranes, same as in other dechlorination methods. Here we have an efficient UV system, in this case equipped with four medium pressure UV lamps. Chlorinated water flows in this direction from here through the system. Let's do a little experiment to measure how much chlorine is in the incoming water. We now turn on the UV system and wait just a few seconds for it to be ready for action. A quick look at the monitor confirms that the system preset for dechlorination using integrated user-friendly software has reached the right UV dose level. Let's take a water sample from an input valve before the water undergoes UV treatments. And let's also take a sample of the water that has undergone UV treatments. Here we have the two water samples. Now let's get the input water into this bottle. Add reagents. And we see here red color, indicating the presence of free chlorine molecules. Using this manual calorimeter that detects even small traces of chlorine, we see that the concentration is 0.98 ppm. Now, let's take the output water. We get it into another bottle. Add reagent. Shake it and we see that the water remains clear. Let's see what the manual analyzer shows. 0, 0.00 ppm. The water has been instantly dechlorinated. Water treated with Atlantium UV has absolutely no free chlorine molecules. This clean Atlantium UV dechlorination method also provides high level disinfection, inactivating the microbes that biofoul RO membranes and lengthening the membrane's useful life. Thank you for your attention.